So today is Thursday, July 8th, and I find myself in Denver. And this is exciting to me because I finally have the chance to be a tourist in someone else's city. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to explore Denver and ride its transport and see what's up. I don't have a plan or anything, so whatever I feel like will just become my day. Um, Denver has several public transit opportunities that I want to check out. They have light rail, they have commuter rail, and they have supposedly bus rapid transit, although it's not technically considered bus rapid transit, so that will be interesting to, uh, to go ride. Right now I'm walking from my hotel in Centennial to the Dry Creek light rail station, where I will hop on an E-line to downtown and see what's up. Alright, I have successfully purchased my ticket of Youth Regional Day Pass. It cost me $3.20, whereas the adult version would have cost me $10.50. So, I'm kind of a fan of the youth fairs they have here. Right now I have six minutes before my train is scheduled to arrive, and I will take this train to Union Station, where I wish to go uh, check out the 16th Street Mall. So I made it to Union Station, where I'm now headed towards 16th Street to walk down the public transit mall. So on tracks number 5 and 4 here at Denver Union Station, you can see they're built at a lower level than the rest of the tracks. This is because tracks 5 and 4 are used for Amtrak's California Zephyr, which runs from Chicago to Emeryville, which is close to San Francisco. And these tracks are used twice a day when the Zephyr stops here on its way to either San Francisco or Chicago. Denver's Union Station. So where I'm walking right now is Denver's 16th Street Mall. This is a section of 16th Street that has been completely closed off to cars. It's been that way for a while. And RTD runs its own bus service called the Free Mall Ride, which is free. So after walking almost the entirety of the 16th Street Mall, I think it's time to call it quits on the piano search. However, what I am going to do is hop on a free mall ride to the Capitol building. Off of the mall ride, now it's time to walk to the Capitol. And so I'm at the Denver Capitol building. Uh, it's a capital, I guess. So apparently 13 steps up the Capitol building is the Mile High Stair. And just like that, I'm a mile high. Whew. All right, now that my little trip to the Capitol is over, it's time to find a bus back to Union Station because I have some trains that I want to ride. So Denver runs a network of light rail services like the E-Line that I rode in today to Union Station. And they also run a network of commuter rail services. These are also electrified. And they use electrical multiple units identical to the Silver Liner 5 of SEPTA. And so today I want to take a little tour of Denver's commuter rail. And just like that, I'm back at Union Station again. There's a train in the station of the G Line. This run, this line runs to Wheat Ridge slash Warren.
ride. I got off the G-Line one stop before the last stop of this train at uh, Wheat Ridge. Currently I'm at Old Town Arvada Station. And, uh, well, my first impressions of the commuter rail are that, well, it's a commuter rail, I guess. Um, it serves its purpose. It seems rather new. Um, I saw fewer people on it than um, on the light rail, but that's just to be expected because this runs out to the suburbs and it is currently 1 p.m. on a Tuesday. Or Thursday. Time has lost meaning. So now it's just seven minutes waiting and I'll be on the train back to Union Station. I got off one stop before Union Station here at 41st and Fox because I wanted to catch a B-Line train to Westminster. However, it would appear that I have screwed myself because the next Westminster train isn't for 29 minutes. Yikes. Back at Union Station. I think what will happen next is I will hop on the 120E, which will take me to the Wagon Road Park and Ride. Here I am at Wagon Road Park and Ride. Next up to switch on to the 104L bus. I'm going to be catching the RTD's RX route will take me up a couple stops and then I'll be able to connect to a different bus that will hopefully take me to the uh, East Lake 124th commuter rail station. Alrighty, off the RX, now to find the 120E. Alright, so the lovely driver of that last bus just passed me up, leaving me stranded here for at least 40 minutes. Cool. Cool. So after that little wrench in the works, I'm now waiting maybe 40 minutes for another RX, probably the same bus that I took, back towards Union Station so I can figure out what to do with myself there. U. S. 85. And 144th Avenue. Please exit through the rear door unless the ramp is needed. So, basically what happened was I was sitting at the gas station drinking some water and chilling. And I see a bus pull up. And this bus is signed for Civic Center in downtown Denver, except it was heading north towards Brighton. So I run to the bus stop and I flag down the bus and he picks me up. And it turns out that this bus was a deadhead bound for um, the US 85 and British Park and Ride in Brighton. So he was just taking, so he wasn't originally supposed to pick me up, but he did anyway. So he just took me to the park and ride, and then now we're on our way back to downtown Denver. And this is much more comfortable than what would have been the original plan of just take the 120 to East Lake and then take the commuter rail down back to Denver. Alright, so after my scenic ride through Brighton and the RX, it is now time for me to find the 38, so I can take that to eat dinner with my friends. West 38, Adam, and the 10. This is the vehicle. final bus of the day and now just 10 minutes to the restaurant where I'm going to eat dinner. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my adventure through Denver and I'll see you next time. You guys want to give some thoughts on Denver and the, the 16th Street Mall? It's sick. I, there's a mall? Th this is the mall. It's Oh, we're in a mall. Okay. Well, it's it's not a mall in like the traditional sense. It's just a street where cars aren't allowed to go. It's a pedestrian mall. Yeah. yeah.
Anyway.